Are you thinking about buying a mobile or manufactured home? In this video, we'll talk about why most of the time you shouldn't, while at the same time discussing three reasons you should, starting right now. Hey everybody, my name is Albert Pereira. I'm a veteran realtor of 25 years that works and lives in Kamloops, British Columbia. And in this video, we're gonna talk about mobile homes and whether or not they make sense for you moving forward. Let's start with all the reasons why you shouldn't, or at least be very careful buying a mobile home. Number one is mobile home parks that offer rented pads. These are parks that are owned by private individuals and companies. They range from just a few pads to hundreds or even thousands of pads, and everyone pays a monthly pad rent. You don't make the rules, you don't collect the rent, you don't decide what the future rent increases are going to be, subject to local, provincial, or state rules. So you have very, very little control other than what's in your pad rent lease. Number two, you don't share in the appreciation of land over time because you simply rent the land under your mobile home and the owners are enjoying the appreciation of the land over time. The third reason to avoid mobile homes is older mobile homes. Many of them were built at a time when insulation values were not as high as they are now, and they can cost a lot of money to heat and cool, and ongoing maintenance costs can be very, very expensive. There's also the issues of uh, mold and rot, and you need to make sure that those things are covered off before you buy a mobile home. Take the time to get a professional home inspection and protect yourself. The fourth reason not to buy a mobile home is the park that you'll be moving into. You need to determine whether or not that privately owned park has mostly owners, mostly renters. Does the park have mostly mobile homes that are owned by the park and they rent them out? Because in the end, you can't pick your neighbors and the spacing between mobile homes can be fairly, fairly slim. So you can probably hear and see things that you probably don't. So you have to be very careful in terms of deciding what mobile home park you're gonna buy into. So just a quick recap on the four reasons why you shouldn't buy a mobile home. And the first one is pad rent. Private owners decide what your pad rent's going to be and what future increases will be, and they make the rules. Number two is land appreciation. Over time, the park owner enjoys the appreciation of the land over time while you make rent payments and you enjoy none of the appreciation because you don't own any of the land. Number three is older mobile homes. The insulation values of those homes can be far less than we enjoy today and heating and cooling costs and maintenance costs could kill you moving forward even if it was a cheap purchase to begin with. And number four, you can't pick your neighbors. The owners of the park make the rules and they pick who can live in the park. And if there are owners or renters, they're the ones that will have to mediate any problems moving forward. They will govern how to solve any problems between neighbors. Okay, let's talk about the three reasons when it makes sense to buy a mobile or manufactured home. Number one is when you buy a mobile home on its own lot, you will enjoy some privacy and some distance from your neighbors and you can do what you want on your property subject to local rules, regulations, and zoning. Now, you won't be paying a pad rent, but you might have a mortgage payment, but you do enjoy land appreciation over time while paying your mortgage down, so you are building equity over time, and that's a huge benefit over a rental park. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, that's great, Al, but that doesn't work for me because I don't wanna take care of a big yard, uh, mend fences, or even gasp, you know, shovel snow and I understand all that but there is an option for you as well which brings us to reason number two buying your mobile or manufactured home in a strata or homeowner association park where you share in the ownership of the land and the entire park now the best part about this is you get a vote in this in and have a say in everything that happens in the community and for the common good it makes a lot of sense because Everybody's sort of in the same boat and they want to have a great place to live while at the same time preserving the park's value. So you do get the benefit of 
land appreciation because you're an owner of the land overall and your own small lot which you've purchased. You don't pay pad rent, but you will pay a strata fee or homeowners association fee, but this can be far, far less than pad rent to a private owner. Now you can mortgage your strata title or title altogether, and you have something that you can pass on to your kids or other people, and you do build equity over time while enjoying land appreciation. So that brings us to number three, which is why you should buy a mobile home. And number three is a bit funny because not everybody can own a mobile home with its own land or even in a strata or homeowner association. And they, they just don't have the funds to do it. And I understand that. If you do have to buy a mobile home in a park, you need to protect yourself by determining what the rules and regulations in the park are, what the owners are like, how future increases are calculated and what you can come to expect. And I would talk to a lot of the owners within the park to see whether or not they've been treated fairly in the past and if they like living there. And you need to determine what the rules are before you plunk down your hard earned money and buy a mobile home in that park. And of course, get a home inspection. So let's recap the most important overall message of this video. Only buy a mobile home in a rental mobile home park if you cannot afford one with the land included. When you buy in a strata park or you buy private land or an HOA, you enjoy future land appreciation. You can mortgage the property if you need some money and you can will the property to somebody else. Now you can will your mobile in a mobile home park too, but remember that's a depreciating asset. So please do your best to try and buy a manufactured or mobile home on its own land of some kind, and you will find that you enjoy future appreciation while getting a say in how the property is run and taken care of. I hope you enjoyed this video and got value out of it. Please hit the subscribe button or a thumbs up or even a thumbs down or mention in the comments how I can improve this video moving forward. Thanks for watching.